client, the Reichman brothers, were one of the best clients I've ever had. They understood quality and were not willing to, uh, to settle for less. From the Oval, if we go north, uh, we come into the garden area. And what we wanted this space to be was a well-shaded space, but yet they have a different character from the other two, the plaza, or what I would call the park. For smaller groups that are more intimate, still semi-passive, a better view of the water, somewhat higher in elevation. And landscape is all about slight changes in level and the dramatic impact of three steps, six steps. And you exploit that in your design because it gives you a separation of activities, a separation of uh, also of uses. And that means well, uses and activities, separation also of experience. This idea of changing grade, uh, you see of, of grade changes in, in the landscape as a means. We have no mass, for instance. We have no volume. We have trees, and yes, you could call some of them, you know, uh, as you know, elements of mass, but nothing to compare with what the architect works with. When we were dealing with this, we knew we had a basic issue to, to conf you know, that we had to solve. If there was going to be a dining terrace, how do you keep the activity of the promenade, which is intense, from the dining area and yet not obstruct the dining area from the, what is the most dramatic view in the entire complex, the one that looks into the harbor itself and the Statue of Liberty. To do that, we introduced, we did studies of a water source, and we've come up with, we came up with a linear fountain that negotiates one of the grade changes. We had to bring in William H. White, who is a sociologist concerned with the use of open space. And I knew him very well, it was Holly White. So I brought Holly in to analyze the design with the intention that I knew he would criticize the particular approach that Scott had taken. We then began to work, and Scott and I worked on a step pattern that you see now that really that does what we, accommodates what we wanted, which was the great change, creates an amphitheater onto the promenade where people can sit. And then we can, and Scott came up with these pods and steps that again, populate and animate the step and brings the stairs out into the space itself. Now this is mainly Scott's work with the uh, torchere, which is a element that exactly at dusk, it is computerized. Uh, and base, he I'm trying, uh, is a is, is, takes off of a, it's a Victorian sitting arrangement. And to the right of it is another linear bench, same vocabulary, and those are basically Scott's you know, ideas. Sia, who is somewhat more intellectual, took the railing and introduced into the railing poetry, uh, two uh, pieces of poetry, lines, single lines and they again animate the railing. At night, when the sun goes down and you get the, this, this space is sort of due west, you get some incredible sunsets from here. You get the sun, the orange sun coming through the railing, glitters, and this railing becomes something quite special. So here is where art, in both cases, art you know, can be infused into the landscape in detail and yet not lose its purpose. That there is no, there's a seamless relationship between the art and the full landscape. And this is what the intention was, is to find a base, a way of mediating between these two disciplines. And this relationship, we feel we've managed to do that. This entire area was designed well after the, 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 uh, the rest of the uh, development had been finished. And we studied how we could get to the water, and it was, we had to cut through the bulkhead and do a number of other quite extensive revisions. But what it does give us is a, a different sense in the relationship. Again, we're talking about uh, you know, approximately six steps closer to the water. And that, but that six steps in two, in two sets of three has a, really gives you a dramatic relationship that you don't get from the promenade. It separates you from the promenade, 
brings you closer, although you're not really at the water, you get the sense of it.